Hi there, Kira here with a DIY embellishments video and today I'm going to be making some chipboard frames. So um, I've done a lot of videos where I make these frames um, and I don't know that I've made a single video where I've actually explained how to make the frames. Maybe I have. I don't know. So um, you can make these with basically any um, you know, paper material that you want to. Um, I typically make them with just cardstock. Um, glittered cardstock is my favorite to use because it's a little bit thicker than normal cardstock. Um, but you can do them with just cardstock. Um, these ones I'm going to be doing with chipboard. So this chipboard is, it's not as thick as like the chipboard I use to make my mini albums. It's um, the chipboard that came is like, um, like if you order paper online and, and it comes shipped to you and they always put a piece of like cardstock or um, chipboard to back the paper so it doesn't bend in chipping, that's where this chipboard's from. So it's a little bit thinner, um, but it's still a nice quality cardstock or chipboard, sorry. <laughs> So anyways, to make these um, frames, what you're going to want to do is you're going to first start out with whatever size um, frame you want. So I'm making these ones, they're all cut down to 4x4 four four frames. Um, and again, you can make them any size you want. They don't have to even be squares, they can be rectangles, um, but mine are all 4x4. Four four. So um, what I do first is I score them at half an inch on each side. Um, so um, I lay them on my scoreboard and at three and a half inches I score one side, I flip it, three and a half inches, score another side, and just keep doing that along all four um, edges of the frame. Um, if you're using cardstock at this point, um, what I always do is I mark each corner. Um, and that's just so I don't go over that mark um, and cut further than you want to. Um, you don't have to do that step if you're you know, good at just stopping where you need to, but I like to mark it just so um, I know where I need to stop. With the chipboard frames, because I go so slowly when I'm cutting, I don't mark the corners. I just kind of um, make sure I don't cut over the mark. Um, so after you score all edges, then you're gonna take your straight blade and you're gonna cut on your score line, but you're gonna avoid going all the way to the edge of the frame, clearly, because you just wanna cut out the middle square. So then in, um, like with these ones, because they're four by four, the middle square is three by three. So you can fit a three by three picture in these frames. Um, so um, I'm doing, I'm gonna show you a few different ways of how I did these frames. The first one, what I did was I covered it with um, just a plain white cardstock. Um, and this way you can either stamp on it or you can add embellishments to it. Um, you could doodle on it. You really could do anything you want with just a plain white cardstock. Um, this one I end up doing some rub-ons onto, but I'll wait until it dries and then I'll add on the rub-ins after the um, Mod Podge is all dried here. Um, so to do the cardstock, um, all I did was I Mod Podged on the chipboard, laid it on a piece of cardstock, cut out the middle section. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's the back of the frame. Um, and then I just folded it around the frame. So then you have a nice white chipboard frame. Uh, so this one here, um, same thing. I just go around three and a half inches. Um, I cut down the line, the score line, stopping at the corner mark, um, and then just flip it and do the same on all four sides. Um, and I know I have this sped up two and a half times, but you should be able to kind of see how slowly I'm going. And um, when you're doing, the reason I score it um, is to show obviously um, where you need to cut, but when you're doing like the regular card stock, um, when you're doing it on, when you're cutting on the scoreboard, your first cut will go down into the scoreboard. Whereas with the chipboard, it's a little bit thicker, so you have to do a few different or a few more 
cuts. Um, so that's why I like to have it, um, the corners marked on the cardstock, and it's not really that important on the chipboard because you're not going to just accidentally cut all the way through um, on the chipboard. It takes some a little bit of pressure, and it takes a few um, cuts down the chipboard to actually get through. Um, so this one I painted with some gesso. Um, so this is just plain white gesso, and um, I painted it four times. So it's four coats to cover that, um, which was kind of a pain in the butt, but <laughs> whatever. It's I, I want to watercolor this one, so um, the gesso needed to be down so and primed um, on that that chipboard. So this one, um, I took that um, that cardstock frame and I just laid it on the chipboard. I'm gonna mod podge it on top so it gives it kind of that little like glossy look. Um, and then once that's dry, I will cut out the middle section of that frame. And that's all I'm doing there. So now I'm going to be I think watercoloring this one next. Um, so I get out my watercolors. Um, yeah, first I put that down. My poor scoreboard. I like <laughs> use and abuse this thing. Do everything on it. It's so dirty and gross. <laughs> but um, I was kind enough to it this time to put a paper towel down while I watercolored. Um, so this one I'm just doing a really quick like ombre effect with the watercolors. So I just start out with like a darker pink and then um, go down uh, with a lighter pink. Um, I was using this brush which I got these at like Hobby Lobby like on sale and they are the worst brushes ever. <laughs> So, so I stopped using that one. I got one of my son's paintbrushes, which is actually better quality, and um, I decided to use that one instead, which worked a little bit better. Um, I am not by any means good at um, mixed media or watercoloring or anything like that, but I'm one of my goals this year was to like get better at mixed media and the only way I'm gonna get better is if I practice so um, I'm really trying to make an effort to do more mixed media this year. Uh, so here I am watercoloring doing the most basic watercoloring you can possibly do. Uh, so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll show you um, how that looks at the end and then this one I'm gonna do some rub-ons. So these rub-ons I got from the tar Target dollar spot and I'm not typically a fan of rub-ons. I actually hate rub-ons if I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, so um, Mary had wanted to get some rub-ons from the dollar spot um, and she couldn't find any when she went to Target so when I went to Target I looked for her to see if I could find the rub-ons that she wanted and there was like I think there's like four different kinds that came out and so I was like oh I'll just pick them up for Mary and when I was looking through them I saw these ones and I was like oh those are kind of cute maybe I will give rub-ons another chance and get these rub-ons and so I got them and I used them on this and I am obsessed Oh my gosh, I love these rub-ons. So now I need to go back and buy like 10 more packets of them because they're amazing. Like they rub on really smoothly. They're, the colors are really pretty. I mean, they're florals. You can't ever go wrong with florals, but they're like those nice bright colors, which I love. And I'm just, I'm so obsessed with these. So I just did like three of the flowers in the corner. Um, and two corners of the frame um, and then I I don't show you on camera and I took pictures before I did it but I thought that it needed like a little something else because it just seemed a little like plain to me um, so I actually went back um, with some Heidi Swap color shine I just recently bought some um, from uh, Tuesday morning they had like a three pack and they had some purple which I don't really like purple but if you notice there is purple flowers uh, in these florals and so I just did a couple little purple splatters um, on that. Um, so this is going to be the last one I do and um, I just go through, go back over this um, and cut out the middle section of this frame um, and that will pretty much finish off all of my frames. Um, so hopefully I explained that all 
um, well enough. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain this kind of stuff, <laughs> but um, hopefully the video shows you how to do it, and hopefully I explained it good enough so you know how to follow along. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Um, and I hope that you guys liked this video, and I will see you soon with another one. Have a good day. Bye.